Hello, this is Vic. Thank you for joining me on my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful island of Salamina, which is the island closest to the capital of Greece, Athens. So I'm about 10 to 15 kilometers away from the center of Athens and uh, I want to show you something very, very beautiful. I want to show you a very old Byzantine church which stands right behind me. I want to show you a tour of the outside so we can admire its architecture and also we're going to go inside and see what it looks like. Let's go look at the centuries-old frescoes, the icons. And let's get an idea of what an old Byzantine church looks like here in Greece. Now this church that you see behind me is known by the Greeks as Exoclisi and that's because these churches were built to be uh, far away from towns and, and cities and they were built to stand alone uh, in the forest or somewhere uh, uh, isolated and this is because they were supposed to provide protection to the travelers but anyway let's go let's look at this magnificent church there's about five of them here in Salamina scattered all around the island hiding in the forests and I want to show you inside but first let's admire the architecture from the outside come on and here it is here's a view from the back of the church See how small it is, how beautiful it is. It's painted all white. And it looks absolutely stunning with the backdrop of the blue Greek sky right there. It is built in the shape of a cross. What you're looking at here is the nave, which is the back of the church. And on the left and on the right you see all the other two parts of the cross and of course the entrance will be the fourth part that would form the cross extremely well maintained and this particular one is in a spectacular setting and i will show you why right there in the distance there's a monastery for women of saint nicholas and in the far, far distance, the resort of Kanakya. Every time I drive by, I stop and I admire this beautiful church. Now there are five of these in Salamina and I have managed to find all five of them. Exactly the same architecture, each one of them. Exactly. And here's the entrance. Actually, this is the top of the entrance. Here's the door. Let's go inside. It is very, very small. It's really tiny. You couldn't fit 10 people in here. That's the nave right there in the back. You can see the door to the nave behind the icon and the blue cloth. But let's look at the frescoes. This particular church, if we can see them, right there. You can see the stars around the, the dome right there. You can see the small windows. But you can see the stars and you can see the painting right there at the center of the dome. blue and the stars are painted in gold and red colors here's the shape of the cross here's uh, the name of, is the top of the cross here's the second part the right part here's the left and the entrance behind me is the fourth part of the cross and there are some very old icons look at this one here this one is of Saint John the Baptist painted right onto the wall. Very typical narrow long windows in these Byzantine churches. And this what it says here, there's a little sign that you're looking at and it says that uh, 
the exoplesia, meaning the uh, little churches, these lonely little churches, are serving the travelers from rain and the storms. Absolutely beautiful. And there's a certain smell inside a Greek church from the candles and the incense burning. What you're looking at right there is the back of the nave. You can see the frescoes right there. You can see a hint of the frescoes. You can see arms of the saints. Over 500 year old frescoes right there. This is where the priest would sit. And unless you're a priest, you're not allowed in here. You're not actually allowed to cross the door. And that's why I'm standing outside very small very narrow place but look at the fresco once more I can't tell look at that look at it right there so if you ever come to Greece and you travel around the Greek islands or somewhere in the mainland and you run into one of these small churches, don't hesitate to open the door and go inside and experience the mystery that surrounds these little churches. They are lonely, they are isolated, they are absolutely beautiful. And I bet you, you will never forget the experience. This is Vic. Bye-bye.